What's going on everybody? Washington here, back with another figure to review. And for this review, I'm doing my first four pack exclusive from Target. Uh, this package is the Scare Pack from Monsters Inc. A figure released by Mattel. Picked him up from Target. It was on clearance. And, and why did I pick it up? Obviously for nostalgic reasons. I mean, who doesn't like Monster Inc.? Obviously, it brings back a lot of memories, and it's just so nice what Mattel did right here, just bringing these characters, releasing these characters, you know, and as a scare pack, you know, having all these four in just one package, and obviously they released them in singles, you know, eventually, but yeah, for those of you who just want to have, you know, all four of them in one package, you know, this is, this is perfect. I mean, I really like what they did right here, you know, the the box right here, you know, it's kind of like the collar, like if it was like the building or something, and it's got the window box where you can see all the four figures in here, they got the symbol of the uh, monster scene with the M and the I in the, in the middle, and right here on the corner, left side, bottom left side, right here is just a cautions, uh, scare pack, obviously in Spanish and French, and Pixar, it's by Pixar, Monster Inc. It's that little monster thing right there. And obviously it's a figure released by Mattel. So Mattel, you know, doesn't really come out with a really expensive figures. But they're, they're still, you know, they still do a good job on painting and sculpting, you know. So, yeah. And it's obviously with the number right there, the three years and up. On the side of the figure, you know, they just got the Monster Inc. symbol. Just like in the front, and also the other side, the symbol, except on this side, it doesn't have that yellow tape around it. The bottom side of the box, obviously, you know, the license of the figure along with the barcode. Nothing to see on the top side. And on the back side, obviously, you know, the promotional pictures of the figures. Randall in the background outside right there with the window looking in through the window There's Solly and Mike and Boo Along with the canisters right there and then the news guy Top right corner again the scare pack On top right there it says where Mike's Eye obviously can move they're letting us know And the top left side of the box right there you can see the some little summary right there, you know, where a child is loose in the metropolis, and if you see anything suspicious or childish, contact the CDA immediately. And obviously they have it in Spanish, French, I think Portuguese, that's the only one. So yeah, let's get these guys up and have a closer look at it. Okay, here we have the four figures. And I think I should start off with Randall, the guy on the left side. And start off with a measurement tape for his height. Obviously, the height, not the, uh, not the like horizontal side, but this height, you know, like from his head to like his uh, four feet right there, or maybe from the antennas or whatever that he has here. You know, that part. Whoa. All right. Starting off from right there, from the head is actually five feet, five uh, inches, and the ending of his uh, antenna there is like six and a half, kind of like seven, sixteen centimeters. This is Randolph, He's obviously the one of the villains from the movie, and here we have one of people's uh, favorite, Mike Wazowski. And start off with his height. And start from the feet all the way to his head. Whoa, you see there? He's a little hard to measure. Alright, let's measure Mike Wazowski, which he starts from exactly four inches. You know, Mike's not really that tall. He's like four inches. That's ten centimeters. 
All right, and the smallest out of the four, which is Boo, on the other hand. I think it's one of the smallest figures that I've measured on this channel, which, let's see. From her head, she's actually two inches and a half, which makes her six, uh, six, and six centimeters and a half. Now, this is Boo in disguise, obviously, you know, with a little octopus purple monster thing, whatever she has on. So, like, now you want to measure her from where the eyeballs are. The height of it, it's like from the feet there, it adds up to almost four inches, four inches, uh, more like three centimeters and a quarter, which is almost four inches, ten, ten centimeters. But yeah, so if we ever get like a, a boo that's uh, not in disguise, you know, just like the you know, the the actual boo. You know, it's like she's gonna be like two inches, two in a two inch figure. You know, for an accurate size like this one. And last but not least, my favorite guy, my favorite character, Solly, the big guy. Let's measure him. He measures up. You know, by the end of his horn right there is exactly eight inches, which is twenty centimeters. So yeah, Sully's the big guy. Yeah. Many people, you know, who are Monster Inc. fans, you know, they like Sully as like their favorite character. But he's my personal to me, he's my favorite character. But for this review, let's start off with my least favorite character, which obviously is Randall. He's one of the villains from the movie. And uh yeah. Randall, you know, he he's more like a lizard guy, kind of monster thing imaging, kind of like a friggin' iguana with this thing on his head here, but uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, he's got the, he's only like, he's got two colors, you know, he's got that purple and kind of like this like splashed of blue in, in his back and then like the tip of his tail is colored in blue, a little soft plastic right here. And uh, obviously, you know, that grin, that grin that he has right there. And the eyeballs, you know, are nicely painted. They Obviously, they cannot move like Mike, Mike's eye could move. And obviously, the, ma the mouth is not, uh, it's not, uh, can't open it. There's no hinge on the jaw so that can open it. So it, there's no uh, articulation there. And uh, obviously, the... He has uh, like two forearms and and uh, four legs. So yeah, but yeah, for articulation, he obviously you know he has that swivel on the head there, swivel three hundred three sixty degrees with no problem at all. Obviously, he he can hinge down about this much and hinge back to its place but it can hinge up you know that's you know that's the only thing about it it can hinge down just can't hinge up but at least you know he's got that hinge on the on the uh, app it's more like an app crunch right there this abdominal so like about so that way you can like look up about this range very limited very limited and obviously, you know, he's got bolt joints on the shoulders right there. He's got good extension on the arms, no problem at all. He can also swivel, swivel them. No problem doing that. And he obviously he has the hinge on the elbows, and he can also swivel. No articulation on the wrist whatsoever. And obviously, you know, you got the app crunch right there, and he can also swivel it too. He has no articulation on the rest of his arms or legs, so they're just there. I mean, like, obviously, there are separate pieces that were connected to his body here, and the less articulation that it has is obviously the tail. You can just swivel, swivel it on the sides, yeah. But that's about it for Randall. 
the Mike Wasowski, you know, he's got this nice color painted, kind of like a, a lime green, you know, on the camera he might look a little brighter, but yeah, he's actually has this nicely color lime green, and uh, yeah, he's like just a ball, you know, with an eyeball in there smiling at you, yeah, a little creepy, but like the description's a little creepy, but you know, it's Mike Wasowski. No, no, really, nothing like scary about Mike Wasowski, you know. Well, at least to me, you know. He's got those little horns right there, too. He's got that smile, you know, more like a surprise smile. Probably like seeing surprise that like he's seen himself in the news or in a magazine. Yeah, he's got that, you know, expression that a Mike Wasowski would have. And, uh, yeah, he's like. Nothing else in the back, too, you know, it's just plain and simple, you know, single color. For articulation, obviously, you got a good extension on the arms. You can also move them up and down. And you can also swivel them, of course. He's got the hinge on the hand and swivel on both hands. And he's got the hinge on the feet. And he can also swivel the legs. He's got no hinge on the on the knees or the elbows. He got a hinge on the toes. This one thing about this figure is that they don't have any peck holes, so you can't peck them on any any uh, base. And Mike Wasowski, to me, my figure, he has a really loose hinge on the left leg. So it's really hard to get him to stand. He always falls off. It's like a little annoying. It was happening earlier when I was unboxing them. And obviously Boo in disguise. Yeah, it's like not the favorite Boo, you know. I mean, like I'd rather have her, you know, like the real Boo, not in disguise Boo. You know, this little worm or octopus tentacle purple little monster that she is, you know. Obviously this part right here can close. Not all the way, but yeah, and it'll also open all the way up. I recommend you just leave it halfway because if you put it all the way down, it unbalances her, so she can't she cannot stand on her own. So you can just leave it halfway, and there she could stand if you wanna if you wanna stand her, or you just wanna knock it off just like Mike Wasowski. And obviously her articulations, extension on the, on the arms, you can move them up and down, uh, no articulation on the feet, obviously there's this little hinge, they could probably just swivel, but not much to do there, obviously got the hinge on the mouth part right here, you can't have any, no possibilities on the eyes, just like Mike Wazowski, I forgot about that, you can also move his eyeball, yeah, it's a little creepy, but yeah, nice. Uh, but yeah, also the head, you can also rotate. That's about it. And the big guy, Solly, you know, my favorite character. You know, he's got this, like, uh, kind of like baby blue color, you know, with the polka dots, purple polka dots. And he's got the spike spikes on his uh, back there. You know, he's got the uh, kind of like a furry, you know, like sculpting, you know, because, you know, he's a furry guy, and he's got those horns, he's got an expression, like a happy expression, happy to see, happy to find, find Boo, and that she didn't got, happy that he didn't, she didn't got turned into a, a garbage cube or something. For articulation, obviously, Solly got the extension on the arms, very limited, he can rotate them all the way around, he's got the swivel on the, on the neck, doesn't hinge up or down very limited though no articulation on the uh, torso he obviously has those hinges on both arms and he'll also swivel them and he's got the swivel on the wrist too and he's got those uh, splits you know he got really short legs you know he can also swivel them up and down no articulation on the toes or anything and no peck holes he, he I always forget about that he has a tail you know, so I don't know why, but I always forget Sully has a tail. And it's a really short tail, but you know, it's actually a separate piece. If none of these figures came with any accessory, I guess Sully, because he came with a separate, his tail came off, was off, so he had to like peg it right in there. So like, I guess it counts as an accessory, a swivel, and it has a little hinge there too. 
it goes on swivel. But yeah. But yeah, for comparison size, I'm going to start off with Randall. Here you have with the two DBZ figures from Jack Specific and Toy Biz. Two six inch DC figures from Mattel, the same brand. Here you have him with a six inch and a half Batman from DC Collectibles and a Batman from Mattel seven inches. For Marvel Legends, here you have him with a six inch, five inch Wolverine and a six inch Cyclops, both figures from Hasbro. Here you have him with another seven inch DBZ figures from Dragon Stars. Here you have next to a 7 inch Dutch and a 7 inch Ripley, both figures from NECA. And of course with an 8 inch and a half Predator and a 9 inch Xenomorph from NECA. And with the two smallest of the 4 pack, 5 inch DBZ figures from Jack Specific and Toy Biz. 5 inch uh, DC characters from, no 6 inch characters from Mattel with 6 inch DC collectibles Batman and a 7 inch Mattel Batman from all religions a 6 5 inch Wolverine and a 6 inch Cyclops both figures from Hasbro the busy figures from Dragon Stars Dodge and Ellen Ripley from NECA and with a Predator 8 inch and a half and a Xenomorph 9 inch from NECA for the big guy here you have him with the D Batman DC collectible 6 inch and a 7 inch Batman from Mattel. From Marvel Legends, 5 inch Wolverine and a Cyclops 6 inches. 7 inch DBZ characters from Dragon Stars. From the McFarlane line here you have him with an 8 inch and a half Dark Side and a 7 inch Batman. From Diamond Select here you have him with Cyclops and Beast. Here you have him with an 8 inch Monster Venom and a 9 inch Shark King from McFarlane line and a Ripley and Dutch both nine seven inches from NECA and of course an, an eight inch and a half Predator and a nine inch Xenomorph from NECA so yeah guys if you made it this far thank you for watching this video make sure to give it a like if you enjoy subscribe to the channel that really helps and yeah this uh, release four pack that Mattel did you know took me down memory line and I really enjoy these figures. Thank you for watching. I'll be seeing you next time.